I got a lot of feedback regarding my camera comparison between the Vivo X100 Pro versus the Oppo Find X7 Ultra and I want to answer some of those questions and also critiques and we'll show you some new samples to compare them a little bit further. So let's jump right into it. We start off with some critique about me not including some sports shots and so on, how fast is shutter speed and I took the opportunity to capture my daughter here playing with balls and other toys that she had lying around in normal mode. Normal shutter speed mode is quite okay in daylight but indoors you can see already it's very blurry so if she's moving Impossible with either the X100 Pro or the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. Both have, however, a sports mode or an action mode, however they call it. And this works a little bit better already. You see it on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. It appears to be a bit sharper than the Vivo X100 Pro, a bit softer. But when I zoom in, you will see mm, it is a bit soft and mushy on both. But I think maybe a slight edge to the Oppo Find X7 Ultra there in this regard. Let's take a look at another thing someone was mentioning. Please use size. Um, portrait bokeh effects. So I did this with the Vivo X100 Pro here and with the Oppo Find X7 Ultra I used I think the film kind of bokeh effect here so this is what you will get there in terms of colors you see we have a bit of warmer tone there in terms of detail levels both are pretty fine but you can also see and this is like uh, 100 versus 65 so three times versus the 4.3 times zoom here for the uh, Vivo and uh, you can see all the things, shutter speed, 133s, 117s, so it has like the uh, same aperture, but we have like a little bit smaller sensor. This is why it is going down with the shutter speed there a bit, but in terms of sharpness and detail level, you can see it appears to be the Oppo Find X7 Ultra has a bit more of their warmer colors here. This is a bit cooler kind of color tone there on the Vivo X100 Pro. Then someone asked me, what about uh, super macro mode for Tele? This is the Tele lens. So we have uh, 4.3 times, you see 100 millimeters here Tele, and we have 135 millimeters actually, which is like if you press the six times button, I think, on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. It also has like a macro kind of mode. We have higher ISO on the Vivo, but we have, I think, a larger sensor there on the Vivo because the 6X sensor is a bit slower and uh, uh, smaller <laughs> and um, talking about slow and fast same shutter speed uh, though we have ISO 400 here and ISO 700 but in terms of like close distance and so on yes I can see the X100 Pro is better there than the uh, Oppo Find X7 Ultra in this regard um, a bit more punchy colors maybe there on the uh, Vivo X100 Pro little less yeah, overblown highlights there. Yes, it's better in this uh, ultra wide angle. How close can I get with the ultra wide angle on both? Both feature also autofocus and macro kind of mode. You can first and first see on first glance Vivo X100 Pro is a bit better there with the uh, macro shots. You can even see the mesh there here that is not visible on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra and the Find X7 Ultra has in general like a little bit of an issue. So yes, uh, when it comes to macro modes and you compare them I would say it's almost the same, but yes, the Vivo X100 Pro, if you pixel peep, is a bit better there. When it comes to various different styles, like uh, this is the, uh, what do they call cinematic style? Now it's called um, on the Vivo, this is, uh, I think it's called cinematic style. On the Vivo, Vivo, when it comes to portrait mode, you have the possibility to uh, just use a style vintage it's called vintage style which is like a mm, very liked style by some and i have i think the film one style on the oppo find x7 ultra and here you can see bokeh and colors uh, it's a bit of a difference there a bit more punchy colors there you can see little dust particles visible clearly on the oppo find x7 ultra on the vivo x1 pro it's a bit blurrier i'm not sure if i was too close there maybe you have to go a bit back but you can see already uh, it also has a focus effect like uh, with something in the foreground unsharp it tries to do stuff there and in the background sharp where the um, 
Finex 7 Ultra also has this, but not so pronounced there. So there's a bit of a different bokeh style there in this regard. So which one do you prefer more? I have to say I like the vintage style of the Vivo X100 Pro a lot because I think the film style of the Finex 7 Ultra, at least film one style of the Finex 7 Ultra is a bit too yellowish for me. Uh, for most times there's a fi there's a film 2 style that turns tunes it a bit down but still i prefer the x100 pro but both are very good in terms of bokeh there so not much of a difference there and this is by the way when you go back a little bit with the find x7 ultra uh, with the 65 because it cannot focus so close there but it did a pretty good job and uh, this is i think more cinematic than what we had before when it comes to the uh, portrait style anyway uh timmy yeah, we had to cut his fur a little bit um, and uh, this is also the same style again. So we have the vintage style where, where I think I see a little bit of vignetting, different colors. You can see much more warmer colors here. In terms of details, pretty good on the Vivo X100 Pro. Uh, by the way, you can see here now I turned them on the watermarks. I don't like the watermarks when I do my photos of my of timmy or my daughter or something like this and want to use and share them then the watermarks are disturbing a little bit but yeah i can understand to put watermarks in there you can see the settings so we uh, have as you can see here a iso 800 only uh and either 1000 here 150 is 133 of a second so it just shows a little bit yeah we have a larger sensor there on the find x uh, 7 ultra uh, in terms of detail level, quite interesting because what we have here is, I think, more natural color on the X100 Pro. It is not over sharpening so much, where on the Apple Find X7 Ultra, you can see this sharpening things up. There's see some sharpening artifacts or already a little bit of uh, noise that's creeping in at ISO 1000 there. And nevertheless, both are doing a fine job. Which one would you prefer here in this case? Also, in terms of bokeh, I think, yeah, nearly identical there. And yeah, a bit more yellowish, warmer color here, a bit more cooler color. I like the vintage film filter on the X100 Pro a lot. So uh, yeah, Timmy walking down in the park. Uh, this is uh, interesting because the Find X7 Ultra was using also this film look, but didn't warm up the uh, green grass so much as the Vivo X100 Pro was doing. And yeah, I think because it's a, he was not standing still, it's like, don't forget about it. Uh, talking about natural versus natural looks, so this is another thing that people were asking me. So size natural on the Vivo X100 Pro versus Oppo natural. Oppo has also not its like Hasselblad natural, but it has its um, uh, natural filter there as well in the various different filters. And yeah, what do you see here? First glance looks pretty similar. Maybe a little bit more muted colors here on this car, where here it's a bit more punchy on the Oppo. Let's go to the other red car. Oh, I don't see much of a difference there. You can see a bit of more sharpening or sharpness in terms of the uh, of the license plate in the background. The car a bit sharper on the X100 Pro. It's also a bit sharper on the X100 Pro. Uh, one could argue now when we take a look at here and how it is handled here that maybe the X100 Pro is doing a little bit overdoing it with the sharpness there. Well, here it's kept a little bit softer. Uh, but the Hasselblad uh, Master Mode is also available for the Find X7 Ultra. And this is if you want to have really DSLM, DSLR-like quality, which is like not smartphone-like, then you get this shot. This is the most realistic shot I ever saw from a smartphone because this is how tryst and really depressing this weather looked like today. The color of the car is much better. You can see much closer also to the Find X7 Ultra, uh, find, find, uh, Vivo X100 Pro with the Find X7 Ultra. You can see, however, how soft it is all over the frame there. You can see, yeah, this is what actually the, the phone captures. This is closest to a RAW file that you can get, but still giving you a little bit, a tiny bit of optimization and color science there that Hasselblad usually does. And actually it's, so close to something else that I also did here. The King in terms of uh, photos, it's not the X100 Pro now, just forget about this one here. Let's just put it into, there we go. And uh, let's compare those with much more closer. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. You can see also it has a very, by default, very natural kind of 
colors. And also here, I think the reds are pretty similar. But you can see what the Xperia does and what the Oppo doesn't is sharpening things up a lot. And also brightening things up a little bit more here, I think, on this car. But also you see uh, that we have like sharpening applied on the Xperia and then in the background, the bushes, for example, which is completely not there on the Find X7 Ultra. So you get with the master mode of the Oppo Find X7 Ultra a very, very sharp picture. I think the Vivo also has some kind of in pro mode, you have the possibility to even turn down sharpness, uh, something like this, and you get very, very close also there on the X100 Pro. But I like this uh, master mode on the Find X7 Ultra there. So yeah, um, zoom. Uh, people told me I did not try enough zooms, especially the in-between zooms. So this is now as close as I can get. For some reason, the Vivo X100 Pro, when I was like opening up the camera app, was at uh, 25 millimeters by default at 1x. It was showing 1x and it was 25. So when I zoomed in, it was going to 100 something else there. Uh, and I had to like manually zoom, take the shot and to get to 130 millimeter. I'm not sure what's wrong there, but yeah, in between zooms, this is now, uh, we can calculate 130 divided by 23, so 5.6 times zoom on both. And uh, let's take a look at here. And yeah, you tell me which one is better there. Like I said, we have on the X100 Pro a little bit of optimization for text. So the text appears to be a bit thinner because it's like optimizing the text a little bit. And the Oppo Find X7 Ultra doesn't sharpen up the text so much, doesn't optimize it so much. So we have the thicker kind of font that is more realistic but you have a bit of noise going on that the vivo is like uh, getting out there and uh, yeah interesting text also um another shot here this is now 135 versus 140 yes this is now what is it 135 divided by 23 it's like 5.8 times zoom i literally said 5.8 times zoom also to um to the uh, five, six times actually, I think I set up. I don't know what's wrong there, but you, you can see here very, very close 135 versus 140 millimeters. And uh, you will see that uh, we have a winner. And this in time, I think the Vivo X100 Pro is editing uh, and, and, and uh, the possibility to optimize the image is working in its favor where we have a bit of noise going on on the Find X7 Ultra around the text, especially it's clean on the X100 Pro. So the processing is better there. And you can also see it here with the logo. It's a bit brighter as well. Here the text, Tanjim, for example, is also there. And uh, some other text here, especially also you can see, yeah, it's pretty close to each other, but the optimization on the X100 Pro is a bit better. Then the next one, which is like 167 divided by uh, 7.2 times zoom. And this is 100, uh, seven is like uh, roughly also seven times zoom. <laughs> 7.2 or something like this. Zoom, so they're very, very close again. Uh, and um, yeah, which one is better here? Again, cleaner on the X100 Pro, where the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, Ultra, has, Ultra has a little bit more noise going on there. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, the logos sharper, more texture on the X100 Pro. Yes, I think. This is like out of focus on both. The X100 Pro is doing, I think, the in-between zooms a slightly better job there for sure. Then another test here with 182, which is seven points, well, roughly eight times. Uh, yeah, roughly eight times kinds of zoom. And what we can see here, nice background blur on both colors. Well, I think a little brighter only on the X100 Pro. Sharpness and details, you can see noise on the Find X7 Ultra and yeah, the noise is calculated out on the X100 Pro. So it's doing a fine job there as well. So this is usually the six times zoom, I think on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. So Vivo X100 Pro is doing a better job there. And then this is another shot because some people were excusing me, oh, the zoom shot on the X100 Pro is better at 20 times than the Oppo Find X7 Ultras. 
and uh, no it's not so this is 20 times zoom now on both and what you can see here is that uh, we have a bit of a different color which uh, brightened up color there on the uh, vivo and when i zoom in this is the eye this is the eye here yes here a bit noisy on the find x7 ultra a bit more noisy because it's not smoothing things out so much but detail level and so on it's noisier, but the details are more there on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. So no, 20 times zoom is better on the X7 Ultra. And then another shot, 120 times. Actually, what is it? 100 times versus 100 times. And now which one is better there? And you see, I, in my opinion, it's the Find X7 Ultra that is uh, beating the X100 Pro there, where you can see the colors are a bit wrong, muted there. When I zoom in 100%, the trailer, what is written there, Again, I would go for the Find X7 Ultra and the Find X7 Ultra can also go to 120 times if it needs to. Then someone was asking me, how about night portraits? So, or not portraits, uh, night photos of people. How good are they? So I turned off the lights, this was dark here, only the aquarium lights were on. And this is what you get with one times 23. Yes, I just double checked again on the X100 Pro. After I reset the camera, it was back at 23 when I pressed the one X. So um, this is the Vivo X100 Pro. This is the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. Which one would you prefer? I think the f I like the face colors on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra a little bit better. Yeah, Juna, I like them better. You like them also good. No? Yes, they're better on the left, I think. Sharpness and details. I'm not sure if it's like recreating my eyebrows there, but it looks, appears to me that it's a bit sharper there and more detailed there. And uh, when we go to 3 versus 4.3 times zoom, um, colors are a bit more muted. You can see there's a difference. This is a bit warmer kind of color. This is a different kind of color. Yes, I was standing like slightly behind this uh, little uh, cage there. Uh, but the color, dif I was standing in the same position there, I have to say. Uh, it's just I had to adjust the angle a little bit on the X100 Pro um, of the tripod to, to, to get the same shot. But here, here's what you get with the 3X on the Find X7 Ultra. Here's what you get with the 4.3X on the vivo x100 pro which one would you prefer i can even zoom uh, i can even zoom crop in a little bit there uh, when i crop into the same kind of kind of thing almost the same as you see there so there's not much of a difference so i can also crop out to let's go 100 percent like this and this crop out a little bit like this and then when we compare them side by side it's also something that someone criticized me of doing slightly sharper on the Find X7 Ultra. Um, I like the face color again on the 7 Ultra a bit better, but yeah, you be the judge on this um, photo here. And then some people are saying, you're biased in the dark shots, in the no light shots, and in the night shots, which is like ridiculous. Why should I be biased? I'm not getting money from any of those. What do I have about uh, favoring one over the other? So this is now both on latest software again. Yes, it is a different kind of software on the Find X7 Ultra and on the Vivo X100 Pro in comparison to the previous comparison because they both got a new software update. Nevertheless, let's compare. So first of all, we have a brighter exposure here on the Find X7 Ultra. The Vivo X100 Pro in general is doing better with HDR. So yes, it's a bit darker there. It's good. When it comes to brighter exposure, you see it also here. The picture or the, the painting here actually is a bit brighter on the Find X7 Ultra. It's a bit warmer, the color here in the background. It's a bit whiter, a bit uh, bright, not bright, brighter, but white, more white, this warm color there on the Vivo X100 Pro. Detail levels, both here out of focus. You can read a little bit there. Um, don't see much of a difference between those two here. I have to be completely honest there. Yeah, which one would you prefer? Your choice, both basically the same in terms of night photography here, I would say. Also, when I go to the extreme edges, just look at this. Yes, it's a bit brighter there, maybe, but almost the same. So the one inch type sensors are doing almost the same there. And uh, when it comes to the ultra wide angle, it is brighter on the uh, Find X7 Ultra. It's much darker on the uh, Vivo X100 Pro. Yes, we have a slightly larger sensor there on the uh, Find X7 Ultra. Uh, we have also a little bit less ISO there on the uh, Find X7 Ultra. Might 
keep that in mind. But when you go in and zoom in and look at the detail levels, yeah, what can you see here? Yes, it's a bit blurrier on the Find X7 Ultra than on the X100 Pro. Well, yeah, which one would we prefer? Also in terms of handling the noises, what you can see there in the background. Um, ultra wide angle, yes, it's a bit more detailed there. This is a bit mushy there. So yes, the X100 Pro may be a bit more detailed, especially here when it comes to license plate. Look at the license plate. You can read the license plate, but here it's a bit blurry. And the same goes for the other ones as well, which are more optimized on the X100 Pro. So yes, the processing on the X100 Pro is better still. Zoom, quite interesting. I'm not sure what happened with the Vivo here. It's going to 99 millimeters. It just automatically switched. I just pressed the 4.3x. It was showing me a picture. I wanted to take the picture, just press the shutter button, and then it showed me a different picture. So it could be that it switched to the 1x lens and doing something with this. And I'm not sure what my daughter is doing there. Maybe she is like laying an egg or something. Uh, anyway, so this is the 3x versus the uh, 4.3x, or what I think is a 4.3x. Which one would you prefer? Slightly warmer picture here, slightly cooler picture there. Detail levels, <sighs> almost the same. I don't see much of a difference. Then 10x and 6x. 6x is like the, like I said, I'm not even sure if it's using 6x in this dark kind of condition. At least it's showing me uh, f1.8, which I don't think is the 6x uh, here. And the Vivo X100 Pro is, I think, properly using the, the uh, 4.3x but you can see it's blurry mesh mess on both so not much of a difference and there we go to the start and beginning so what does this mean it means that especially what surprised me was the in-between zoom shots uh, this 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 on the vivo x100 pro where i will give the x100 pro a 0.1 points more so that will be equaling out the vivo x100 pro and the x7 ultra in terms of zoom capabilities because yes the oppo find x7 ultra is still better like i said 20 times and 100 times or 120 times so in terms of further reach is a bit better the processing is a bit better on the x100 pro especially when it comes to the in-between shots like five six seven eight uh up to 10 i think the x100 pro is better there and those in between shots i did not really calculate in in my previous um in my previous um by the way why is not the same image in my previous uh, comparison so i will calculate it in now and give the x100 pro 0.1 point more so we have then a new score and let's take a look at the score Good, this is the ranking system right now. And as you can see, we still have on the top the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. The Vivo X100 Pro is on second space here with 4.47, uh, 4, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 points, which is, I think, wrong. It should have 4 point, yeah, exactly. 4.49, 4, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 points. Still the second kind of rank, but you see how close it is. They're basically getting the same kind of points here it's just like the calculation is in that way that uh it's just like 4.494999 points and we have 4.495 points and no i did not like cheat in any way here or i'm not biased towards any of those because i don't get money from those and i don't like this one company better than the other company actually i prefer to use the vivo x100 pro over the oppo find x7 ultra because i like the software there a lot better and i like the camera ui there a lot better than on the oppo find x7 ultra nevertheless let's take a look at the points here so main camera photo quality didn't change at all because we have 4.8 on both ultra wide camera quality did not change at all because the vivo x100 pro has still a better ultra wide angle zoom camera photo quality however and we have now 4.6 points on the Vivo X1, uh, the Vivo X100 Pro as well, because, like I said, the in-between zooms are better than the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. You get more clarity there. We have better processing there. It is just simply better up to 10 times. It's better when it comes to over 10 times, like 20 times zoom, for example. The Oppo Find X7 Ultra takes the lead uh, completely and has a longer room zoom range reach there yeah 100 times or 120 times you never use that but uh, yeah it multiplies like 30 times looks then also a lot more better than on the x100 pro and so on so sometimes you maybe use it nevertheless i think it is negligible in this case so better there worse there so i get 
the X100 Pro, the same points as the Find X7 Ultra for the zoom cam photo quality in total. Video recording quality did not change at all. Also with the updates, I just tested, just believe me, I just tested it. It's still a bit more too contrasty on the X100 Pro. Some people said, eh, it's more realistic because you look so tired there. No, it's like overdoing the contrast a little bit there. It is not that I'm looking so tired there. And yes, the Oppo Find X7 Ultra is raising the shadows a little bit uh, there. And yes, as someone pointed out on Twitter, it has some face, um, not optimizations, but exposure on the face as soon as it detects a face, which makes sense. Lots of people, lots of cameras are doing this actually, and in my opinion, doesn't make sense because it's like then having the right exposure on the face. Um, and no, the Find X7 Ultra doesn't suffer from the uh, far too much over sharpened or more yellowish kind of face uh, issue that we had or HDR issue that we had on the Oppo Find X6 Pro that I think the Oppo Find X6 Pro fixed it with its latest update at least in terms of colors but the over sharpening is still there on the Find X6 Pro which the 7 Ultra doesn't have. Um, so photo video recording quality it, like I said it, it's just like a snapshot right now it might change the VUX100 Pro might be better there as well um, in, in a few updates um, and if they uh, if they really manage to to uh, fix the colors that too much of like the 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 uh, contrasty look then it will get the same points as the X100 uh, SEX7 Ultra, Ultra and then we don't have any it's just there. Autofocus performance is the same. Front camera is still better on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. And now I'm just calculating out the the uh, video part here just for photos. It's just going to be better there. Uh, nighttime, daytime, doesn't matter. Camera UI is worse on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. The Vivo X100 Pro has far more intuitive kind of settings there, in my opinion. Uh, I like the Pro Mode, that the Pro Mode has a video function there on the X100 Pro where the Oppo Find X7 Ultra, Ultra doesn't have this. Yeah, you can also calculate it to extra features there, but it's also the camera UI in general on the Find X7 Ultra didn't improve on the Find X6 Pro, so and I did not like it there either, and the X100 Pro improved upon it. Where the X100 Pro gets more points is in terms of extra features, because the latest update also allows the X100 Pro for example, in video pro settings to turn off noise reduction, which is super, super useful if you want to have a not noise removed footage for darker footage and then optimize it by yourself. At least it's, you have this option that gives you far more flexibility uh, with your video footage. Uh, this is why I'm raising the points here at 4.5 points. And I think the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, where do we have the other Vivo phone? Why is it so much down there? Shouldn't be. Uh, where's the other Vivo? Uh, we have a new search. I can just search for Vivo. There we go. Has also extra features 4.5 uh, because it had this feature. Like I told you when I was doing the test, it had this feature on the X90 Pro Plus but was gone on the X100 Pro. And as soon as I, uh, they added, I will also raise the, the points there. I raised the points. So we have literally two number ones, I would say, the Oppo Find X7 Ultra and the Vivo X100 Pro. I'm not sure why my calculation here, maybe my JavaScript is wrong, is calculating 4.4949999 instead of 4.495 points. Both are equally good with a slightly better Vivo X100 Pro feature set for the camera, slightly better ultra-wide angle. And the rest is basically the same on both. Slightly worse front-facing camera on the X100 Pro, where the Yobo Find X7 Ultra is a bit better. So this is my conclusion now. And yes, for all those, those critics and people who say I'm biased, I'm not biased and I'm always listening to feedback. This is the proof. And I'm always correcting my um, table here, my ranking system when I find no new things or when stuff update, updates like the Vivo X100 Pro got an update uh, with the uh, noise reduction feature, for example, removed. And I think also uh, some other things like zoom camera photo quality improved. And this is why I also raised the points earlier already. Um, such things. So yes, we have two winners here, Oppo Find X7 Ultra and the Vivo X100 Pro. Ah. In my opinion, portraits still better on the X1, uh, ah. X7 Ultra, especially 3X portraits. Vivo X100 Pro a bit softer there. 
So that's it for this uh, feedback video. What do you think about this? Write it down in the comments. If you have some new critiques, I'm gladly accepting them as well and arguing with you in the comments section as long as, it, as you keep it civil there. So that's it. Until the next time. Bye.